Hello and welcome to another one of our Max Minecraft videos. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to set up and run your own Minecraft server. Okay, and this is typically just for a few people to play Minecraft together. Alright, so open up your favorite web browser and in Google type Minecraft server. First one, it's minecraft.net forward slash download. And instead of clicking this one, we're going to click download this. The my multiplayer beta server. Alright. Now, if you're planning on running like some giant server of hundreds of people, right, well then I, I would recommend not downloading the um, vanilla server. I would recommend getting a custom one. And personally, my favorite is Bucket. I actually run this myself. Uh, so, yeah, but really, realistically, if you clicked a tutorial on setting up a server, you're not going to be running Bucket. Yeah, probably going to be running this. Okay, so I've downloaded it. Go to my document downloads now. Uh, let's see here. And here it is. Now, before I double click it, I'm going to put it in a subdirectory because when you run this, it's going to create a bunch of files. And there we go, that's fine. And just to run the server, we're going to double click. Yeah. And then the server software is going to be running. It's going to generate the map. While it generates, I'm going to show you how to run it. Connect to it, actually, sorry. Now, this is just for you. For other people connecting to your server, they're going to need your, uh, your IP address. I'll show you how to do that later, but... As for now, yes, delete that. So, okay, so this is how you connect to your own server. Just add one, call it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine, and just type local host in the server address. One word, local host, done, and you should see it. Green bars, and connect. There we go. It's generated a server for me, and we can see in the server window. So a player has joined from this IP and that's his position. Great. And now there are some certain commands you should know when running a server and you can get them I think by a question mark. Alright, so in the uh, server console you can just hit a question mark it'll tell you all the commands you can type. You can uh, get this help screen, kick a player, ban the player, and in case you ban the player and you want the player to be able to join again, you can pardon him. You can ban the IP, pardon the IP. Ops. You can create a op player. So, the player that can do all this admin stuff. Take away his op privileges. TP. Now, this is a, my favorite one. It's, it stands for teleport. You can teleport players to other players. So, if you're all spawned in crazy locations, you can all get together with uh, TP. Give, you can give yourself items, tell, send a secret message, you know, just a private message to someone. Stop, this is how you stop the server without like, creating corruption and all that. Save all, save all the stuff, save off, save on, list, list all the players playing. Say, create a server, like I'll show you say. And see the server said hello world. Alright, time you can set what time it is. I can make it night time. Night time. Oh no, can make it night time, alright. Time set. What if I made it twenty thousand? There we go, that's night time. Alright. Uh let's see what else can you you can set the game mode. So let's say I wanted to play uh, creative on uh player name, because it asks for your player name, and then the mode, for your, um, it's either a 0 or a 1, in this case creative mode is 1, survival is 0, so now I am creative, I can fly, move, alright, so uh, let's see, op, alright, typically you're going to want to op yourself, I mean, why wouldn't you, so just, first thing you should do is op yourself, so type op, and then you're, in. and now, you can do all these server commands in your Minecraft game. So I can just hit T for the chat. And I can type a command like give. 
player name, and then some stone. And the stone item code is one, so how much stone I want? I want 64 stone. Alright. And you can see I've got 64 stone. Great. Alright. But it's creative mode, so I can get whatever I want, actually. Alright, so, uh, that's basically running the server and all the admin stuff. Let's have a look at how people are going to connect to your server. So I close that. Typically, you're going to want to get uh, tell other people your IP. So to get your IP, we'll go back to our web browser. I like to use the just Google what's my IP. First link, always click it. And there. This will tell me what my IP address is. So I would give my friends this and they will just type it in uh, this Minecraft thing. They would just type it in this and they just hit join. I, you can't join it yourself for some reason. Like, I don't know why. When you're connecting to your own server, you always have to go to local host. But other people will not have to join. Another thing you're going to have to do is port forward. Well, it, try this first. If it doesn't work. Then port forward. You have to port forward. And to port forward, you have to get your... Log into your modem. And do some settings there. So now, if you're on Windows like me, it's going to be quite easy. Or well, relatively easy. Type CMD and run that. Okay. You're at CMD now. The command prompt. Type ipconfig. Okay, simple enough. Enter. It's going to print out a bunch of crap. What you're going to want is your IPv4 address. Typically, that's going to be... Uh, mine's a bit weird. I've, I've set mine to custom, but it's going to be something like 192 point whatever, whatever. What you're going to want to do is type that in the address bar. I'll close this. I think it's lagging. You want to type that into your address bar. And then as for the last number, whatever it is, change it to a 1. Okay. So yours is probably going to be like 192 point whatever, whatever, point whatever. I, I don't remember. But mine's 10.1.1. So right now, you're going to want to have it on it. And just hit enter. I just got to quickly do this. Don't worry about that. Mine's just a little different. So just hit enter. And you're going to get this login prompt. Now the most typical modem is going to be admin and password is going to be admin. It's, it's going to be this unless you've uh, set it differently yourself. I have set it differently myself. But typically it's going to be admin as username, admin as password. Log in and you're in your modem. This is a modem config page. And typically it's going to be advanced. Well, I can't really speak for much people, but I'm sure a quick Google search with your modem brand will give you a tutorial on how to do it yourself. But as for D-Link users, this is how you do it. You go to an advanced page, virtual server. You're going to want to go to the user uh, to find one. See, I've already defined it, but let's just say I haven't. The rule name, we call it whatever you want. It's going to be TCP. Uh, and the server IP, I mean the port, sorry, server port. On Minecraft it's 25565 I believe. You know, you can just check. Uh, it's in the server properties file. Yep, 25565. Okay. And you're going to fill, whoops. Fill that into each of these whatevers. Hit apply. Yep, okay. No spaces in the rule name. There, it's done. Click the virtual server again. User, you'll see your thing there. Hit add, then apply, and then in tools, system, reboot the modem. Save and reboot. Okay? And another thing, if that doesn't work, is to go DMZ, which stands for Demilitized Zone, which will allow the computer, whatever, to. Uh, type in your local IP, so the same thing the CMD gave out. Okay. Type that in, enable it, apply, and there you go. 
that is how you set up a modem I mean set up a Minecraft server and allow anyone in the world to connect to it. Thanks for watching. I hope you've this helped has helped you. I wish I had a more popular modem to show the likely but anyway, that's how you that's how you set up a Minecraft server.